My dear brothers, I joined the here as a staff member in 1990. Ordained in 1986, only four years in Pondicherry. And this is my 30th year. Over the years, a good number of my colleagues or my professors have died. Some of them because of the old age, some others untimely death. I recall former Vice Rector President, like me, I was also Vice Rector President, six years Vice Rector, seven years as President. For the Alphonse Money of Uti Diocese. After the board meeting in February, he came to my room, bid goodbye, and on the way to Uti, after Mysore in Anjan Ghat, in Main Road, he was driving his jeep and then met with accident and died. He had not even completed 60 years of age. It was really terrible. We all ran there, went to Satya Mangalam for a funeral, and he was buried. A great scripture professor and philosophy professor, Father Alphonse Mani. And then, it was in 1997, and then now, recently in 2013, the brutal murder of my colleague, friend, Father K.J. Thomas, former rector, former president. We both are very close, lost 23 years working together. He had such a regard for me. And then, two years ago, the death of Father Abraham Griraju, former vice rector, my student, suddenly, I was sick only two days, three days. I was the one to see him. All the fathers were in Uti, um, undergoing a program. I came a day earlier to Bangalore, so I saw him last, and then his death. Not only that, so many people dear to us have died untimely death. My own mother died when I was in third year theology. March 8, made with accident and died in my own village. Last year when I was in sabbatical leave for the Clement Campus, our moral theology professor, a redemptorist died. I could not even believe because of cancer. Now, just 200 kilometers, 200 meters from here, just in the next campus, Father Matthew Kalatungal, our missiology professor of many years is dying every day. We don't know when his life will be taken away because of cancer. Just 200 meters. Next campus, the MS of his house. What do all these things tell us? Today, Jesus is informed of two tragedies. You have studied in philosophy maybe about the problem of evil. We don't have a satisfying answer all the time. Some Galileans were offering sacrifice in the temple of Jerusalem. Maybe they revolted against Pilate and Pilate killed them. The text says he mixed the blood of the Galileans with the blood of the animals. Jesus is informed about this crime. Jesus speaks about another incident on his own. Eighteen persons were sitting under the tower of Siloam. Suddenly the tower fell and all of them died. Jesus says, whether it is Christ, natural tragedy or man-made tragedy, 
everything jesus doesn't say they were all sinners i know all these people i mentioned here they were all much more poorly committed for the cause of god sometimes we often tend to say this is punishment for the sin the person committed it is not always true sometimes it may be true but not all the time true look at the man hanging on the cross he did not suffer because of his sins like that innocence die early innocent suffer innocent become sick innocent people become walking corpses because of the suffering inflicted on them by others also it happens we can do never any generalization all good people prosper in this world all bad people uh, suffer in this world no we cannot say even jesus himself said this man is blind not because of his sin or his parents sin it is happening that the glory of god may be revealed through him jesus said we read in the gospel of john 9th chapter isn't it yes jesus says he a free death untimely death cruel death every death due to natural disaster like tsunami earthquake or accident every death is a call to conversion lord thank you for giving me one more day of life i want to be a blessing to people who come into contact with me that should be our resolve whenever we think of all these people i narrated some of the incidents which i know you know in your own life in your villages in your dioceses people who are very good suffering even in the seminary also some brothers may be misunderstood misunderstood by the staff members or companions and may be spending days in tears but then every suffering just or unjust is an invitation for us to be converted i want to be a blessing as i repeatedly tell the people whenever i go to the parishes you should not be a reason for anyone's tears you should not be a reason for anyone's tears your whole occasion is to make people happy you should not be the cause for anyone's tears disappointment suffering i used to tell them see what a beautiful message the lord is giving us live the rest of your life giving your best praying studying working hard encouraging others giving life to the people who come into contact with you that's what the lord tells us today in this context only jesus tells a beautiful parable of the fig tree which did not bear fruit for three years the gardener comes and pleads with the master do not cut it he did not bear fruit all right for three years give one more year i will put some extra manure if it doesn't bear fruit then you can cut the compassionate father is waiting for us to be converted one more week 20 years 23 years 24 years in my case more than 58 years the lord is looking for fruit fruit that are really good lasting every day is a day of grace remember don't say after my regency i'll be better no humble today is the day lord thank you for giving me one more day i will do my best the world may judge you by the result god judges you by your struggle by your effort by your commitment by your dedication give yourself to the lord the lord jesus who lived only 33 years on this earth gave himself totally to doing the will of the father that's what we are celebrating the lord jesus broke himself gave himself let us break ourselves every day not be lazy not be selfish not be arrogant let the lord look at us and say this man is really committed to relying on me may we grow in our faith through the grace of this eucharist amen